encouraged by people like Elon Musk, who with SpaceX is talking about the colonization of Mars. I think that uh, returning to the moon, as some people talk about, is probably not a good investment of time and energy, especially because space programs, whether it's here in the United States or anywhere else, are not as uh, well-funded as they might have been. The moon is a, is a dead world. NASA, a few years ago, put a satellite in orbit around the moon, hoping it would find ice, some sort of water in the shade of craters, because water could be converted into oxygen and hydrogen rocket fuel. The idea be if we had a lunar base, it doesn't do us much good to be there unless we can't manufacture fuel on that world. So Mars is probably the next step. We should probably skip the moon, in my opinion, and set our sights at colonization of Mars. It's something that would literally take thousands of years before it could be a livable planet. But there's a lot of good ideas out there. Terraforming Mars is uh, not impossible. But the angle that I come at it from light pollution is that, as Elon Musk says, it would be nice to be a two-planet species, in the sense that one of the truly dangerous things in the universe are asteroids. They've hit our planet many times before. The reason why those dinosaurs will never come back is because 65 million years ago, a rock six miles in diameter came roaring out of the sky at 40,000 miles an hour, and everything that was larger than 100 pounds and not a crocodile went extinct and we're just as vulnerable to that kind of impact as we are before. We have just about the same technology of protecting us from asteroids as the dinosaurs did, which is uh, hoping they miss. But the idea is if we had Mars, and then there was a big rock, and it hits Earth, causes devastation, while the humans on Mars could then recolonize Earth, or, or vice versa. So it's certainly the stuff of science fiction, but I think science fiction has been the inspiration of science and engineering ever since. You know, it was Jules Verne that imagined going down under the oceans and submarines that made submarines possible. So I, I really like the idea of popularizing uh, the science and the science fiction combination if it leads to a new revitalization of exploration and putting humans back out into space on these epic explorations. Mm -hmm.